Hey there, Cami. I just finished your guitar and I wanted to take a second to make sure that it was working properly. I think it's working. I think it's working. And I made this little video for you to kind of take you through the process of making this thing because I started with just a boring old cigar box uh, that no one was using anymore. And I painted it, I came up with this cool pattern just for you. Um, we made it glow in the dark, it glows in the dark, which is pretty cool. And I cut all the F-holes. Well, I did everything. And you're going to see in this video, you're going to see all the things that came together to uh, make this super amazing present from your Uncle Danny. And I just wanted to wish you a Merry Christmas. I know this is a little late, but I was still working on the details of some of the things. So I hope you really enjoy your present, and I hope you rock out. I hope you continue to be awesome forever, which I know you will be. So, yeah, always be awesome. <clears throat> Here's your first, as far as I know, first guitar that's ever been custom made just for you. Yeah, first one ever. So, enjoy. Okay, here's a first little preparatory step for the painting process. Here we are. This is a bunch of my crazy musical instrument and bicycle shop stuff. <laughs> and this, this is where we're going to do all the painting. And we just prepared this table, I put down some cardboard, put some painter's tape around it. I'm trying to not get tape on the table. We will see if I can succeed at that. And what we've got in here is a whole bunch of supplies, 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 supplies. Look at all this fun stuff. All right, step negative one, prepping for paint. Okay, Cami, we're gonna try. This is the glow in the dark color. It goes on clear. It's got a little bit of a maybe green to it. I don't know. It may look kind of funny. I don't know. I don't know if this is a good idea, <laughs> but we're gonna try it. And if it works the way I'm hoping, it's gonna be super awesome. And this box is gonna have the white color, and it's gonna glow in the dark. So we shall see. So you can kind of see, I put some tape down and I put this first blue on top of everything. So when I peel up that tape, you're gonna see the white underneath and then this light blue. And when this dries, we're gonna put on the next layer. Awesome. Let's 
see I use the caps to put up on the ground so it doesn't get stuck to the table. I lift it up just a little bit and spray under it. I think I got it. All right, this is the moment. We get to do the little unveiling. We're going to take off this last layer of tape. Uh-oh. I kind of have to do this with on one hand. Okay. Getting there. Oh my god, this tape is never going to come off my fingers. <laughs> okay, almost there. Jiggly, jiggly hand. Jiggle cam. Oh my god. <gasps> Whoa. <laughs> that looks so cool. Hmm? Wow, I think it came out better than I expected. How cool is that? Alright, not so bad. Lots more work to come. We're gonna put the neck on there. We're gonna put a pickup on there. Oh my goodness, I am so excited to turn this fancy new box into a guitar. Okay, here's some clear coat. This is gonna make everything kind of shine a lot more. And make everything kind of stick together. Let's see. All right, so check this out. This is a scroll saw. I had to 
put this little blade through the hole and in the machine. And I just flip it on, the light should come on. <laughs> the line that we put on there. It's kind of a slow process. Okay, Cammy. so the next phase, I use that scroll saw and I cut out everything, but you can see there's spots here that like I kind of missed the line a little bit. It's hard using that tool. So now I'm going to go through and I've got these two files. And I'm going to go through and just kind of kind of clean up these lines a little bit. You know, they're not going to be perfect, but I can make them better. You can see, you know, some they're not they're not perfect. They're going to be also still not perfect, but they're going to be a little bit better using these. So I want you to see this. This is just a piece of wood that I cut and I taped this piece of paper to it. And the piece of paper is just kind of the outline for what we're gonna be doing. And you can see here it says 20 inch scale, which means that's where it goes from boom, that knot to uh, boom. That mark right there is 20 inches. And it says 24 frets. Frets are what these lines up and down are. And all that stuff is gonna be on this side. So I made, I drew out the lines here so I can cut them and you'll see that process. And then I made these interesting marks. What's gonna happen is all this stuff where the pencil is, see there's like this line, I'm out of focus I think, but boom, it goes down, it goes across, it pops back up right there. There we go, it goes back up and down across back up and the front board is going to sit in this little groove here in the middle and it's going to sit there and here where it goes down is going to be extra open chamber where the sound will bounce around this is where the um, the screw is going to be on the front side it's going to be sitting on this little piece right here then there'll be another little cavity or open space in the center behind the front board and this will be I mean it's starting to take shape this is this is just this is where we start and yeah boom it's coming along So you can see here, I use this file to bang out all these little pieces. So we have something that now looks like this. Okay, this fun device is a drill press. And you see it's got this on it. When I move this, it moves the drill up and down. It's great for making really straight clean holes, which is what we're trying to do, because we're going to put these 
guitar tuning pegs and they go from behind and they gotta go through. So I matched this up with a drill bit that's the right size. And then all we gotta do is flip the switch and I pull this and just go down. Okay, Cami, this is your guitar neck. And this is the whole one piece, right? And we made all these cuts here for the frets. That's what these metal pieces are called. This is called a fret, 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 fret. And what we're doing right now is I've got this fret wire and I got, it comes in these longer pieces and you push it into the little slice, the little, line that we cut into the wood here and then you tap it down and then once you got it where you want then you use these and you cut it off and what it's going to do it's kind of hard to focus ah there you go you see this see how look at that sharp point that would absolutely cut your fingers really bad actually it's actually hurting i'm just touching that one you can see that one too it's really sharp they're like little daggers right now when I cut it with this tool, right, it makes a very sharp edge, which is not at all what you want. So we're gonna do that, and then we're gonna use different files. I got this file, I got this machine right here, this grinder, this big thing right here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna work on these so that rather than being a little sharp little knife point on the end of your instrument, that they are super smooth and you can touch it, and you can while you're playing it, you're not gonna hurt your fingers on it. Um, but this is all part of the process. So right now we're hammering in the frets. I just got the first couple of them in like this and we're, we're still working. It is Monday before Christmas and this is not gonna be to you for Christmas morning, but your Uncle Danny is super busy trying to get this thing finished for you. So I hope that you appreciate it. Okay, so here's the next tool. This is a grinding wheel, and it all it does is it only does one stupid thing. It just go. Okay, so this grinding wheel. I am gonna use this tool for the sharp little things I was showing you, and we're gonna first do you know we're gonna go through and we're gonna hit every one of these to get these little daggers you know a little closer to where they need to be and then the last part is we use like a hand file like this one or like some of the other ones that are sitting around here there's a little teeny one here with a red handle a little file file there's little files all over the place so but first we use the big grinder because otherwise all this stuff would take a long time by hand and with the grinder i can just do all up and down and then we go into finer detail you always do the coarse you say the the big parts first and then the detail stuff afterwards all right 